I'm going to do something new, which is an unboxing video of my new recurve bow. So got the, the stuff from Lancaster today, still closed, although not much is really holding it together. So let's see what we got. Okay, we got our invoice. We have, maybe I should have thought this through and open the box first. Okay. So we have two boxes and some stuff for uh, another student of mine. This is for a later video. Okay, so um, I'll unbox it, and then I'm gonna talk about what I picked out and why. So first thing we have here, in a beautiful case. I really like these cases they do now. We have that. We have a lanyard. We have the different clicker plates. I'll have to check those out. We got our little bits and pieces, our manual. But let's look at the real thing. We have, have you thought about what color you would get if you picked one out? Well, I got the green. Look at how beautiful that is. Okay, so we have where the clicker plates are going to go. We have, um, you see, we have three options. I'll have to play with this. This is the new. Uh, limb series. So part of the reason why it took me so long to make the transition is that I already have the ILF limbs all the way from 34 to 44 pounds. So when I was previously competing, it was really tough for me to make that big jump. But now that I have taken this short break and come back, I decided it was time to get the best setup possible. So did you get some good footage of that, John? I'll take that as a yes. Okay. So there we go. We'll put it back in this little tidy hole. Okay, and we'll open up the next box, Ooh, which is still sealed. So, move my leg out of the way there. Don't need to take off a leg. Okay, and let's see what we've got for limbs here. Do you have a guess? Well, once again, we have another lanyard, another instruction manual, point. We have their own cases. I used to make these out of uh, fleece, you know, with little ducks and so on. So look at how sweet those look. So they are the Formula Carbon Quattro. Okay, so there's one. And I, I imagine this one looks much the same. Okay, and we have two. Let's go to a little warning. Never dry fire a bow, and it may cause you cancer if you live in California. So luckily we don't live in California, so no cancer for us. So how exciting is this? Okay, so I am going to kind of follow up with discussing why I got this particular setup. I have the 25-inch uh, riser, and I have the medium limbs, which will make a 68-inch bow. So... Looking at me, you can probably guess I do not have a super long draw length. I have a 27 and a half, which is, you know, a little tiny bit long for a female, but not unusually long. And standard practice would say that I should be shooting a 66 inch bow. So a long riser and short limbs, uh, which is what I am currently right now shooting. Or for years and years, it was recommended a short riser, medium limbs. We don't really see that option really even being available. The reason I went with a slightly longer riser, a 68 inch um, setup altogether, is that you are seeing a lot of the Koreans going for that. So if it's good enough for them, the longer limbs are gonna give you a smoother draw. Now I went from a 34 pound limb, these are 38s. Now theoretically you could do that if my 34s were dropped um, all the way down in weight, uh, you know, not weight, you know, drop, thing all the way down, so all the way up in weight. And these are dropped all the way down, they would touch, but right now my limbs are only about halfway in. I was gonna go for 36s, but they are back ordered to eternity. Same with the wood limbs that I could have, I was looking at as well, um, the quattro with the wood, uh, supposed to be a little bit smoother, but they, is, they are also, you know, back ordered to eternity. So I kind of went with the 38. It's, it should be fine right now. I'm pulling about 29 pounds out of my 34s. So going to 38s really shouldn't be that difficult when I used to shoot 40 pounds about five years ago. So there you go. So the limbs, beautiful limbs. And 
the riser. And I have to say, the when I came to picking out the setup, I worked with Teresa Johnson out of um, Connecticut. You probably know her for her social media work in the sport of archery. Uh, in addition to being a phenomenal coach, along with Butch Johnson, billion-time Olympian coach, works at a store, all that. That is where I got these suggestions. Look for future videos where I go over my new stabilizer system.